I am late with my video this week. However, I always say better late than never. So this week I thought I would share with you my brewing guide for making V60 coffee. V60 is a pour over. You'll hear lots of different terminology with coffee, but I'll try and make it simple. Sorry if you can hear Frank there. V60 is a simple pour over coffee. You don't need a lot of equipment for it. Things I would say you can't do without are a, obviously the V60 itself and a good set of scales. The coffee, if you go to one of the coffee shops, they'll grind to the specific grind size, but you do need nice coffee. Let's have a look at today's coffee. As you can see, it is a lovely coffee from Ozone. So we've got a few stages with making V60. First up, we've got to fold the filter paper, then pop it into the V60, and rinse off the filter just to get some, get rid of that papery taste. your beans to be an even grind and you want it relatively fine but not too fine. After we have the beans grinded we then go on to the, the bloom stage. The bloom stage just releases the gases that the coffee uh, naturally releases. If you didn't do this then it would lock in some of the flavour so all you're doing is releasing some of that goodness. After the bloom phase, we want to then continue topping up the water. For one cup, I would go 15 grams of coffee with 240 grams of water and a brew time of around two and a half minutes. After you've finished doing the pour over, you should be left with a nice flat slurry looking thing in your filter. Uh, that's a good sign that you've extracted everything in evenly. All that's left to do is enjoy your beautiful brew. Mm. And that is my guide to V60. It's meant to be plain and simple, not baffle you with all the usual terminology. Again, you know the score. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to be up to date with all my videos, hit subscribe. And if you're feeling extra special, click the wee bell. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.